gelijk in waar ik zo tegen de vloer. Victoria, maar je kent het van de college of Ramers in de West. Ik was kiezend om niet meer dan vijf minuten te zijn. Hallo iedereen, vandaag ben ik hier om een heel belangrijk onderwerp te presenteren. Is het oké? To my mind, uh, and which is very pertinent to the topic of this conference of opening up resources and opening universities, that of media li literacy in higher education, which is a very hot, uh, debatable topic on the European level and international level. And uh, for uh, today's presentation, I've chosen um, the understanding, the conception of UNESCO, because um, well, the recent documentation <laughs> that looks like that, that it has brought some. Um, uh, some uh, order into the field because when I started uh, analyzing and researching the subject, um, I noticed that there are ample uh, conceptions, ample terminology sets dealing with the issue, and finally you get lost and it only leads to confusion. And then with this new documentation by UNESCO and their proposition of this composite concept which unifies uh, very important things, media and information literacy, by uh, believing that literacy uh, encompasses all types, all possible skills that we need in contemporary society, which is characterized by such descriptors as knowledge society, technologized society, consumer society, whatever, then uh, probably knowledge society, to my mind, is the, the best description because uh, without knowledge, we are nothing here. And then, uh, as regards technologies, these are very important things, but then, um, pertaining to media literacy, the important thing is that um, we often talk about skills, knowledge, skills, but then with this conception of UNESCO, the important thing is that um, they point out the um, issue of attitudes, our attitude to media and our thinking about the, its effects and what it does to us. Like We can master technologies, but media technologies, they also can master us and without us being conscious um, about this. It might be get a little bit off hand. And um, uh, this uh, summer I visited the wonderful city of Cordoba, uh, University of Cordoba, where I talked to prominent researchers in the field of media literacy uh, who um, really doing a wonderful job as regards implementation of all the policies and um, ideas in the practical field of that of education. Basically, when I compare situation in Lithuania and Spain, I see that the uh, major work is done on the project level, um, on the, at the level of secondary education, but uh, we cannot forget that it's always lifelong learning, it's always opening spaces, it's always new technologies that, um, as I've told you, not, not only we master technologies, but all, they also, uh, in a way, master us. And... Uh, that's why I think that these uh, initiatives, which are wonderful initiatives, but they are not enough, and we have to continue thinking about them and implementing um, um, policies, strategies, whatever, they have to be systematic and have to go out of the, um, you know, like um, some project or ad hoc manner that the things are happening right now. I hope I've not uh, used my time. This time one, within the limits, day, within the framework. Day, yeah. day, and then, uh, when I thought about my presentation today and this brief span of time that uh, I have here, and the ideas that they wanted to present, I also uh, thought that um, I would be very happy uh, when, um, in our discussions afterwards, um, we could discuss the issue of what it means to be literate nowadays in the society that we live in that is rapidly changing, where we cannot separate uh, technologies, knowledge, uh, human beings, and uh, we have to take in, into consideration the thing that uh, technologies and human beings are already um, um, existing in a kind of symbiotic relationship, and the impact is mutual. So thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm. and, uh,